the West Virginia State Police Department is being accused of putting hidden cameras into the women's locker room and shower. That's right. So now that's just one accusation being levied against the West Virginia State Police Department in a lawsuit filed against them involving 70 different women involving as well as minors. So having, again, female recruits, bad enough being spied on. But this also involved minors. A plaintiff in the lawsuit identified as Jane Doe is described as uh, a current state police employee who was, quote, known to have been videotaped while using the female shower and locker facilities at the training academy, according to CNN. Jane Doe's lawyer, Teresa Torseva, is also representing about 70 other women, including minors, who participated in a junior program at the academy and have made similar allegations. So now, wait a minute. These minors who are in this program, who were spied on, who have, again, uh, made these allegations, made similar allegations. Why is this not all over the right wing? Why is the right wing not talking about these groomers in the police department that are creeping on young girls, little girls, teen girls, you know? Why, why are they not saying, wow, look at those groomers in the, in the, in the West Virginia State Police Department? And none of these people, by the way, these, these are these are all cops. They're not drag queens. <laughs> they're not members of the LGBTQ community. Oh, that's probably why they're not mentioning that. Oh, they're not they're not talking about this at all. No, of course not. Uh, so now, Officer Brenda Lesnit, who's among one of the first women to speak out about the scandal and who had actually graduated from the academy back in 2016, she said uh, she uh, she said that she was shocked and appalled to learn about the recordings. She said, the more I thought about it, the angrier I got. Seeing here today, I still feel exposed. And I'm constantly wondering, who's gonna see me next? Who has already seen me? It's very nerve wracking. I can't imagine the, uh, just the violation that you would feel as a result of this. I mean, just disgusting. Megan uh, Talkington, who discouraged her daughter from becoming a police officer due to the culture at the academy, said this. I would tell her, no, I would not want my daughter to walk the halls of the West Virginia State Police Academy until there is reform. I just don't think she'd be safe. Both Talkington and Lesnet say they fear being retaliated against for speaking out, which, again, to me, wouldn't be surprising if they were. In fact, look, none of this is surprising. I mean, really? Now, Torseva, the lawyer said, this is a hostile, misogynistic, toxic environment that's just not just male-dominated. It is literally anti-woman. Quote, we think that the story that has been told is not the full story, that it's much worse, that there were more people involved. We think there's a cultural problem. Well, on that, I 100% agree. There is a cultural problem in policing. And it's not just in West Virginia. Uh, yes, certainly uh, here, but it, pretty much everywhere. And a cultural problem in the police that extends far beyond how they treat women in their own ranks. Because again, if they're doing this to the women in their own ranks, what do you think they're doing to the women that they're supposed to serve and protect? Again, there are people here that are uh, minorities, that are the impoverished, what do you think these cops are doing to them? I mean, they don't protect them. They protect property. And that's their main job. Uh, and again, that's that goes part of the cultural, uh, to, uh, partly to the cultural rot within our, uh, you know, nation's policing overall. Of course, it's always been a boys club. Doesn't make it right. It just makes it even more imperative that this system get knocked down and replaced with something that is far different and actually does serve people. But as far as, again, uh, property, one more interesting thing that I've uh, noticed about this, right? So it doesn't surprise me 
that again, with the uh, police protecting generally property, that some of them would consider women who are supposed to be, again, partners, people that, you know, are, uh, uh, you know, supposed to be equals on the force to be their property as well. 